Hey, this is me, and I have got huge bags because I'm about to go on a once in a lifetime trip from the south to the north of China. Starting in. And we've just gone through the airport, about to board the plane. You're so excited about this long trip. But hold on a second. What is Hangzhou? It's a city on the east coast of China. It has a population of 8 million people and it was once described by Marco Polo as the most luxurious city in the world. Here we go, starting the trip by touching the outside of the plane for good luck. Or the plane now. We set off on our one hour and 45 minute plane journey, touching down at five past midnight. Of course, we went through the airport, grabbed our bags and took a taxi straight to our hotel. to do is register our passport with the hotel they have to enter all of your details into their system and fill out quite a lot of paperwork which does make it a little bit difficult to find a, a hotel for foreigners in China so this is our room it's actually only 18 pounds a night it's really cute and cozy we have a little bed some decorations this is the bathroom it's a toilet and a shower but it only has one door so we have a TV and most importantly we have a heating we just arrived at our hotel Yay. it's so cute oh my gosh look at the We decided to go and have a look around our little village and try and find some breakfast. It is so much cuter in the daytime, way less scary. It's two degrees today and you can see even the fish are freezing. We found this little restaurant and it looked pretty cheap and pretty cute so we decided to go in. Michelle had wontons. They came in a broth and it had these little shrimps, seaweed and spring onion. As you can see, there are so many tiny shrimps in there. Our table had these little jars with all different condiments in. There are different types of chilies and pickles. So you can add those into your dish to your taste. And that is why Michelle's is a bit of a different colour here. I had these fried noodles, which came with meat, but it's okay, I just gave it all to Michelle. <laughs> so it came with these bamboo shoots, it had some spring onion and cabbage. Feels so much better. Right. Finally feel satisfied. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Then we made our way to the West Lake, which is the most famous thing about Hangzhou. We went to the ticket office to get a ticket for these little boats. We saw this little bird and he'd caught a fish. There's so much nature here at the West Lake. Going onto the boat, it really just feels like you're walking onto a restaurant or some building. It's very beautiful. The decoration is beautifully carved. It's 
so much nicer than in the summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, so much like And it's so bright. And I think the weather is so nice. It's not like in summer. It's so hot. Good. We arrived at the location of the landscape on the Wang Kwai note. So we've just arrived at the Wang Kwai location. Yeah. Maybe we can show you. It's so beautiful. better now. What happened? Because I got a cane. <laughs> Someone tied it up for me. Uh, what are we going to see now? Going to see Lei Feng Pagoda. I'm not sure it's a pagoda or tower. I think it's a pagoda. But in Chinese translation it says it's called tower. I don't know what the difference is between pagoda and tower but it looks like a pagoda. But actually pagoda is like shorter and it doesn't have that many layers and normally you just sit there and have some chat. I think that's called pagoda. Yeah, like it's a, it's a ta, not a ting. Ting is called pagoda. Ta is called tower. On the way, we were walking around the gardens and we found so many beautiful plants. This place is full of little streams and bridges. And the best part, these ducks! I have never seen ducks like this before in my life. They're so majestic, the colours, they just feel like royalty of ducks. And they even had koi fish swimming underneath. Keep running nose. Please don't get the runny nose up my skull. <laughs> We're going to the Lei Feng Ta. Lei Feng Pagoda. Lei Feng Ta, yes. But first, time to get some food. We saw this little stall and it smelled so delicious so we decided to go and get two sticks of this tofu. Mmm, it's very nice. What is it? Tofu. Mmm, tastes like what? Tofu. <laughs> is it really hot? No. And then began our ascent up the stairs. No, just kidding. Of course, we took the outdoor escalator. So good. Yay. Arriving. Be careful. So. These are the old remains of the old pagoda yes. from 1921. It, it broke at 1921, so I'm not sure when they built the old pagoda, but anyway, older than me. <laughs> Inside the tower had these beautiful wood carvings of the spirits that once inhabited the tower. When you reach the top, the views are stunning. You can even see Lin Yin Si Temple, which we'll be visiting tomorrow. As you can see here, it is super, super high. 
Here you can see the smoke from the incense burning below. With this view of the West Lake, you can really appreciate its size and beauty, just how breathtaking it is. You know what time it is? Dinner time. So we went to find this food street, which we thought was gonna be huge, but actually it was pretty small. But nevertheless, there were a lot of really cool vendors there selling interesting foods. So we had a look around and decided our first stop was potatoes. So this guy grills up the it's kind of like a hash brown, I guess. You choose which one you want and then he cuts it up for you, puts it in the container. The best part about this whole process is you can choose your toppings. So he has spring onions, pickles, radishes. You can have this barbecue powder. We added some sauce, some ketchup, and there we go. It's so crispy on the outside, soft and sticky on the inside, delicious. Next stop, these rolls. Don't they look so good? She added some spices, some chili. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering. We were expecting spring roll vibes, you know? But unfortunately, don't let your eyes deceive you. This was, this was a miss, honestly. We couldn't finish it. I'm not normally one to throw away food, but it was a no from us. We decided to go on the hunt for something else and we came across this barbecue shop. I love me some Chinese barbecue. They have all sorts of different sticks. It has meat, fish, tofu, vegetables. So we decided to get some sticks and take them home so we can eat our dinner in the comfort and warmth of our own hotel because we were freezing. We stopped at this convenience store, got some instant noodles and took it home to sit in bed. Here's our barbecue. We have some corn and Michelle had some crispy chicken. And this is a Korean rice cake. Absolutely delicious. Wait and hear the crunch. Mm. Isn't that just incredible? Okay, good night and see you tomorrow for more adventures.